Good evening, Easter Center Time. If you're watching this, you're checking in. Pardon. I'm going to talk about the two knives I carry in my EDC, which is everyday carry. Uh, these are on my person uh, relatively all the time. I'll probably forget my pants before I forget these knives, just so you know. The first one is this one. It is a cricket or CRKT, hence cricket, if you get it. I don't know if you do or not. That's Columbia River Knife and Tools. Uh, they make some pretty cool stuff. Everything from tomahawks to knives to whatever. But um, I have had this knife, and it shows for approximately 17 years, possibly more. I got it at the Knob Creek Gun Show when this model had first come out. And I got it for about 40 bucks, which was a good deal at the time. Now you can find this exact model uh, at Walmart for about 20 bucks. And I highly recommend it. It's probably the best knife you'll ever own. Uh, I do everything with it from skinning animals, uh, cutting, which is a knife, so you cut stuff, rope, boxes open, you know, medical cords, whatever. Uh, but I also use it to clean out my fingernails, uh, dig out my ingrown toenail, uh, cut cheesecake, cut sandwiches. And if you've ever eaten a cheesecake that I've cut with this knife, I'm not going to apologize because you should know me. But I do clean it, obviously, um, and sterilize it with like alcohol and whatnot. But um, it's got a high carbon steel blade. This is the M16-OS01S model. I think it's a different model number now. But like I said, you'll recognize it at Walmart. It's pretty easy. Aluminum handle. Uh, it's got this little nub here to open it easier. It doesn't have... It's also got side things, if you can see that nub there on both sides so it's ambidextrous if you want to open it with that I'm not too antiquated with that I use this thing and it, it'll flick and it works great <clears throat> uh, got a belt clip on it and it's got the thumb release to release the which is also the lock if you watch it snap you see a little snap there anyway you push that to the side and it closes so easy opening easy closing easy breezy I've also done the things with this knife that you should not do with a lock blade um, such as throwing it um, batoning uh, yeah those things you should not do with a lock blade this is not safe and it's not really good for the knife but needless to say I've abused the hell out of this thing and it has yet to disappoint me. I've done one tune-up on it because of little screws and whatnot. After, you know, 15, 16 years, they finally started to get loose enough where this would wiggle about. So I took these screws out, put Loctite on them, put them back. Uh, also, the blade was really kind of loose in there. So I, you know, adjusted it with that screw and also took it pretty much apart and cleaned it up and now it works just as good as the day I bought it so you take care of a knife it'll take care of you the other knife that I carry I always carry two knives a backup is that one it's another cricket knife uh, this is the Pazoda I don't know what that means uh, you can let me know if you do same operation Except it doesn't have anything on the back. It's got this big thumb thing here. So it's also ambidextrous. So open, opens quickly as well. Shuts as quickly as well. Stays sharp. Got a belt loop. Uh, I think it's a steel handle. Carbon steel blade. Very good knife. Uh, Columbia River Knife and Tools makes an outstanding blade. They also make tomahawks and all kinds of cool stuff. So I think tomahawks are kind of a little too heavy, the borderline, you know, heavy hatchet weight. So I wouldn't carry one, but they're very nice looking. I'm sure they work well. But anyway, uh, 
if I, I think it was at Walmart for about 30, maybe 20. It might have gone down by now. I don't know. But uh, both great knives. Both have served me well. I don't abuse this one like I abuse the M16 knife. Because the M16 knife is just... It's like an old friend that you just, you know, give shit once in a while to. But they keep coming back because of your friend and vice versa and whatnot. So, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say about that. These are the two knives I carry. I recommend both. I definitely recommend the M16 knife. It will take care of you. You know, if you take care of it. It's like a dog. You take care of it, it takes care of you. If you don't take care of it, it won't take care of you. Now, to keep both these knives sharp, and I probably sharpen the M16 knife either once a week or once every two weeks, depending on the amount of use I put through it, and I do put a lot of use to it. Whether that be bushcraft, whittling, opening boxes, showing off and cutting paper, whatever. Uh, I have a DC4 Falk Niven uh, knife sharpener. I keep it here in my truck. Because I'm always in my truck, this, so this is where I sharpen my knives when I got nothing to do. And my fingernails have been cleaned out. One side's got the diamond side. You can see I've used this a little bit. And it's got a stone side. It's kind of a finish stone, a finishing stone. And then you've got your harder, more abrasive on this side. Uh, it comes in a cool leather case that the dogs were happy enough to uh, make sure that it was mine. So I, now I won't get this mixed up with anyone else's fuck knife and DC4. But the DC4 is relatively inexpensive. I want to say less than 40. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I bought, I bought this many years ago. But, um, yeah. So I keep that in my truck. I keep these on my person. And I am going to say that this is probably the oldest relic of my life that I own. You know. It was the Gerber uh, multi-tool, but it got stolen. But I still got this. Um, I don't really get attached to things. If for some reason this were to break or explode or get stolen, you know, I go to Walmart and get another one. And I might, I try to get too attached to my belongings because once you, you know, your belongings will end up owning you. You don't want that. That's why I'm kind of a minimalist. But, yeah, so, in closure, yeah, two good cricket knives, uh, highly recommend them, just good standard tools to carry, they are tools, not weapons, though I could defend myself with them, um, but yeah, a tool is, you know, what it is in the hand of the person holding it, like anything else. Hope you all have a great night. Um, I'm working late. I'm doing all right. I had a little bring me down today, but I'm getting over it and I'm doing okay. Uh, there's a lot of people that have it worse off than I do. I know that. So, I'm trying to keep a stiff upper lip. Have a great night. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and if you're watching this, you're checking in.